Alan, I'm a simple man, as you know, and we have a <laughs> report this morning that European dividends grew 18%. And unless I'm mistaken, that's about the only thing in European finance or economics that grew 18% this year. So how is such a thing possible and can it go on? Yeah, it's a good question. The, uh, the, well, it was a very good uh, growth rate. Um, the one issue is that now we have dividend payout ratios, that proportion of dividends to earnings, net mm -hmm. earnings. Uh, now it's pretty high for European uh, companies now, ex-UK. So we're at about 60-ish percent. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, uh, that's high historically for Europe uh, going back to 1970. So, you know, the question is, can they go much higher? Uh, I'm not sure it can grow at that pace anymore. Yeah, eighteen percent would be certainly be ambitious. And uh, where is the cash coming from? Uh, that's a very good question too, because partly when I look at uh, return on equity, uh, if you look at MSCI Euro forward, i.e., for 2014, that's running around eight percent. Mm. Right? 8% return on equity doesn't suggest very high earnings growth, particularly if you have so much of earnings going out for dividends. Right? right, so it becomes a question of how much money these companies have left to invest once all this 60% of their earnings are paid out in well, dividends. Well, in, in the case of something like oil companies, like uh, the oil company Eni, uh, mm. Italian oil company Eni, they, uh, they are having to sell assets um, in order to pay uh, their dividend. And uh, that's not unusual for oil companies generally this year. It's a bit of a transition year, but a number of but, utilities are having right, to do Right, there's this. a trend here, too, where investors are demanding that companies get smaller, yes. sell off non-core businesses, Businesses is true on both sides of the Atlantic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So it could be that part of this this higher dividend rate is the result of a kind of worldwide corporate slimming down. Yeah. But even so, we would expect it to tail off. Yeah. Yeah. And so are there other markets we like better? Yeah. Uh, in terms well, of the prospect for dividend growth specifically. In terms of in terms of where dividend payout ratios could go when you look at over history and that they're not at their highs, the U.S. and Japan both seem to have more upside to that. The, 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 uh, particularly in the U.S., the uh, dividend payout ratios in the 30s, it, that's, that's low. It was in the mid-40s for mm -hmm. a long time. You go back 15 or 20 years. So income investors, stick to the U.S. and Japan. Avoid that gnarly little bit in the middle. Thanks, Alan. Pleasure.